I um, thought I'd record a little video on my uh, main works camera because um, I've made a few modifications to it over the years and I know there's uh, quite a small community of camera operators that use this camera so I thought I'd record um, a little video. I'm only doing it on my webcam on my Mac so uh, the sound and picture quality aren't going to be great but um, it's the camera I use is a JVC um, 750 that's uh, start again JVC GYHM 750E and it's uh, a very small ENG camera um, designed for uh, sort of regional broadcast and web based work not sort of network it's a one third uh, camera and not two thirds like a P2 or something like that but it's ideal if you're just doing web videos and you want stuff on the fly or you know for local news it's used massively in America for all their sort of regional news stations the latest version of this camera actually has a plug-in here uh, to take a dongle uh, so that you can live stream straight from the camera itself so um, let me just show you just pop it up a bit higher and just show you what I've done with it um, over the years. Originally I used to have the two uh, Sennheiser G3 radio receivers kind of hanging off the handle here which was a real pain in the ass. Um, and I've been looking for some time of a, of a suitable solution really um, and I found one although it does add back end weight to the camera which is an IDX um, accessories plate which you can see here. Uh, it was about 150 quid and it clicks onto the it locks onto the V-mount bracket on the back. Uh, I can actually, t I could actually take the standard V-mount bracket off and rewire this one on, but it's a bit of a faff. Um, the advantage of of doing this is that you can actually take the whole um, uh, the whole IDX frame off and just put a normal V V-lock battery on it in its place. So, I was looking for a solution where I could put uh, two radio mic receivers away from the general camera operation um, and uh, allow me to hold the camera more sturdily I can underarm control it and now the two receivers are located one at the back and, and one here and they're nice and tucked out of the way uh, I won't go through any of the standard settings with this camera because if you've got one you'll know all that anyway and if you haven't got one well there's other videos that kind of explain that so um, the other modifications I've made is I used to have a magic arm attached to the hot shoe, uh, which my LED light, which is phenomenal, uh, this, light, this light here. Uh, but it was adding an awful lot of weight, this magic arm, which I didn't really need. And before I put the IDX mount on, it was making the, uh, the front end of the camera top heavy. So I found this uh, Alley metal um, adapter, which is a bit too long to be honest it could do with being a bit shorter uh, which is nice and flat um, and I've got the camera light kind of semi permanently fixed on there I've then uh, because I was getting fed up with changing batteries I've then got a DTAP uh, power adapter that plugs in here uh, and that's just a 12 volt power adapter lead so now I can have um, uh, the LED light running, which you can see there, off the, the V-lock battery at the back. Um, the next thing I needed to kind of cope with was the wiring. Um, so I've just done a very simple kind of loom here that, that runs from the, from the back of the camera with a few basic ties to the front of the camera. And again, it keeps it all nice and neat and tidy. Um, I've not really made any other modifications to the camera. I've obviously got a... Um, a chamois to go over the viewfinder because that was rather irritating um, but other than that I'll spin it around it is I mean the IDX plate does does increase increase quite a lot of weight to it um, and I may actually now put the magic arm back on the front just to balance it a bit more when it's shoulder mounted but uh, if anyone's got any tips a couple of things I'd like to do to it one is I'd like to remove this and I don't think there's an easy way this this uh, ridiculous uh, head, um, sort of speaker uh, which doesn't seem to work. The other one is this has become quite loose, the monocular here um, and I don't know whether there's uh, 
any simple way of uh, of tightening this. I can't see any screws or anything. So uh, if anyone's got any advice on that, I'd be appreciated. Um, I don't think there's any other tips, but uh, subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions about this camera um, or uh, any other bits and pieces. Uh, I'll try and find a link to the IDX bracket on the back um, if you're interested. If I can't find one, just message me and, and I'll see what I can do. But uh, little video. Cheers, bye.